Hello Cancer. Hope everyone's doing well. Happy birthday. We're getting ready to do your general reading. Tarot reading for the month of July. That is your birthday month. I hope everyone has a great time. Look at the first card out of the deck for your reading is the Knight of Wands. Ooh, you are on a quest, Cancer. What are you up to? So let's see here. What else do we have? We want clear and useful messages for Cancer. The full card, Crossing an Adventure. Okay, so it looks like you're on to an adventure, Cancer. I like it. Okay. The base of your energy this month is the Eight of Wands. Enthusiasm, excitement, travel, creativity, Sagittarius energy. Might travel abroad. The King of Cups energy. That is the energy of Scorpio. So we have Sagittarius here twice. We have Scorpio. We have Aquarius. All right. We also now have the Two of Swords. So there is something that you're really not willing to look at right now. Interesting. The um, You know, you see what you see, but you're pretending not to see it, okay? So I don't know what that is, but we'll look into it further. It'll be different for everyone. So let's see what we have in the near future for you, Cancer. Two of Swords is Libra energy. Oh, Four of Wands. Four of Wands, Fire Sign energy, Aries energy. Really beautiful reading here, Cancer. Let's see. Don't speak too soon, Donna. I see it as a good reading. Okay, so let's see what we've got here. These came out in this order. Eight of Swords. You're holding yourself back from something, Cancer. The Three of Wands, your future is beckoning, so timing timing might be the issue for you, but let's see what we have. We have the Emperor card, Aries energy. Okay. Again, a lot of Aries energy here, and Gemini energy. And we have, for your outcome, we have the Page of Cups, so it could be a new, you might meet somebody new. I'm getting Five of Wands. That's competition and the strength card. So these were all sort of the extra cards that fell out with the chariot card. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to clarify this, Cancer. But what I'm seeing is that you're coming into the month and you're you're flying high. You know, you're really flying high. Let me give you the table shot here. You're definitely flying high with this beautiful um, Nine of Wands energy. Like, look at me, you're looking good, you look good, you're cute, you smell good, you're getting attention, and you're really enjoying it. Whatever attention you're getting, you're really enjoying. For some of you, it does look like if you are pursuing a career in acting, um, horseback riding, any kind of a sports career, it does look like you're off to a new adventure. So I would say this is very, very exciting. Um, exciting new beginning but as you can see she's up here this is a fool and she's here she's smelling the rose but she doesn't see that it's attached to an alligator so it's a different fool card but it does warn you know keep yourself grounded and pay attention to what's going on around you okay cancer because when we get that fool card that that alligator dragon whatever you want to call him you know, is really like, he's very happy that he's attracting her attention. So you might have also some player energy coming in. But you know what? A lot of different people will be um, very attracted to you. We have the Eight of Wands energy. This is all about, you know, you're really, you have fire in your tummy for something. You have fire, fire uh, for something brand new. So for some of you, it could be love. But for others of you, I see this business aspect to your life that's going on. We have a lot of Cancerian energy with, you know, the Chariot card. And so what I'm seeing here is that you're passionately pursuing both career. And it does look like many of you are buying a home, remodeling a home, selling a home, but you feel, you know, you can't, you're not quite where you want to be yet. We look at the energy of the King of Cups in the recent past. You are feeling very emotional over someone, but 
you know, it's sort of like you may have had a situation in which two ships were passing in the night. You might have even met somebody on a vacation and thought, oh, I wish we lived in the same city. But as you can see, we have, you know, you're feeling very empowered. You feel as though you really have what it takes and you do to make the changes in your life that you want to make. So let's look and see what the wisdom of the oracle says about the overall energy for this month. The Four of Wands, some of you could be planning a wedding, a marriage, building a home, buying a new home with a partner. Yep, here we go, building blocks, nice. But you're very much grounded in your emotions. There's a lot going on here, Cancer. You're living very authentically. I like the energy for you. What else do we have for the wisdom of the oracle messages? Blessed. You are feeling blessed this month. Every month has challenges. You know, a day would be boring if it didn't have something going on that was a bit different. And serendipity, look at that. Timing is on your side. That's almost like the Wheel of Fortune card. So when we look over here, what I'm getting from most of you is that you are, you do have your head caught up in something. You want freedom from something, Cancer, and it's self-imposed restriction, so you are staying in something. It does look like you feel as though you have to strategically to either stay in a job, it could be a job, could be a relationship, but you're not quite taking action yet. But with a strength card, I feel as though, though as soon as Leo season comes to, to pass, a month from now, I'm really getting this energy that you're going to go ahead and maybe even tell somebody you like them or that you'd like to spend time with them or you're going to be the recipient of that energy. Could be somebody younger, could be somebody that you've worked with or you've been close to. We have the energy for your outcome here of the Five of Wands. A lot of competition. People are competing for your attention. They're very much competing for your attention. But your ultimate outcome card, Cancer, is you. So, you know, you're moving forward. And you're doing it in a very steady pace. You are being cautious. You're not moving too quickly. But you are definitely seeking and will get whatever your goals are. Um, will make a definite move forward. Steady, steady pace here. The Knight of Wands is clarified by the Hanged Man. So it looks like you're waiting. It looks like you could be waiting for a lover, somebody to come into town, somebody who's visiting. We also see that, you know, it will, it could be somebody meeting somebody for the first time. Say if you've been online dating, something like that. For those of you who are looking for a new job, it looks as though you will interview by changing careers and not quite being sure about how you feel. But you will move forward. You're definitely moving forward. You're going to have multiple opportunities is what I'm getting. The Nine of Swords is that you have great clarity over the direction that you're going. I feel as though many of you are going to travel this month. Easy to say in the summer, right? But it is Eight of Wands, and you can see she's flying through the air. The wands are oftentimes signify air travel. The Knight of Swords, you definitely are making way. You have great clarity about what you want. In the past, I don't think you did. You know, I think you are gaining great clarity, and you're going to try out a few ideas here. You're going to be open to several things. I think at least two or two to four options here if you're looking for work. And I feel as though they might be a little bit different. I really love the energy coming in. The Two of Swords tells me again with the Eight of Swords, you're not ready to make a decision about a final decision about moving forward. And you will be very, very cautious about it. So let's go ahead and clarify the cards for you. Let's see. We've got, it seems a little crooked. Well, there we go. Okay. So let's look and see, Cancer, what is coming in for you. What is coming in for you, beautiful Cancer friends? Why do we have the Hanged Man with the Knight of Wands? Somebody's been holding back also, maybe from coming forward. I would be a little bit careful, though, because there are pitfalls in this situation. The Queen of Swords, okay. 
So you're going to use very strong Libra energy. Again, for many of you, somebody might be buying a horse farm. I don't know why I'm saying that, but it just seems natural with the, the thoroughbred here. The Queen of Swords also is Libra energy. It tells me there may be a contract that's being hung up on the sale of a home. It will move forward because we have cancer at the end and that rules a home. So I do feel like for many of you, you're waiting to find out news uh, more about whether you get an offer or not about the money. Doesn't It looks like the money will work out. The Seven of Swords energy says that uh, be careful if you are looking at buying a new home. Seven of Swords reversed. You might see something that is kind of a cover-up for a repair, something like that. It does look like it will be noticeable and there will be no dishonesty necessarily, but it's sort of like buyer beware. So if you're making big financial decisions, make sure you read the fine print with that card, okay? Let's look and see the King of Cups energy here for your Cancer. So you know, it's good energy for you. King of Cups, Scorpio energy. So we have the Death card with the Hanged Man. Okay, so we've had the Hanged Man twice. So the King of Cups is possibly the end of a close relationship. You know, it can be the loss of a friend because somebody has moved or a significant relationship. The Hanged Man says that it might not have happened yet either. So for some of you, you might be holding off on ending a relationship for practical purposes, or at the very least, there will be a change in a relationship that may, you know, it looks definitely like it's probably already happened. Queen of Cups, King of Cups, but again, any couples that are going through big transitions right now would have the Death card. It's because we have the Queen of Cups, we have the King of Cups, and clarifying it is the Hanged Man and the Death. So we could have a married couple who are ending the relationship. We could have a married couple who are waiting to figure out how to move forward and make new purchases. So it really is pretty neutral. The Death card is actually a neutral card. It's like, well, you know, it's like when you put in a new kitchen, you kill off the old one. That isn't a bad thing, right? The death card is not always a bad thing. So we have the five of swords here, and this is clarifying our cute little uh, fool card here. Five of swords is somebody who will treat you in a challenging manner. Five of Swords energy is somebody who's not especially nice. Since we have the Seven of Swords reversed, I think that you'll be it'll be out in the open. You can see it. So if you are negotiating, once again, don't rush moving forward. You definitely want to take your time with a slow chariot. Again, the Fool card. So be careful, especially buyer beware situations, okay, with a home. So let's see why we have the Four of Wands here. Looks like a really great month for you. You know, kind of the usual suspects, right? Most negotiations take time. House inspections have to go on. Relationships have to be earned. <laughs> okay. Page of Pentacles energy. Nice. Okay. So that is just doing like the paperwork and, you know, get the inspection. And, you know, if you are getting married and you haven't gotten married yet, it speaks to the fact that there may be a bachelorette party coming up. We also see that, you know, practical decisions and uh, movement forward on a new home, a new marriage, you know, anything along those lines. And any couple that's making a really big change with that death card becomes a rebirth of a relationship. Along with it, all the decisions. Oh, honey, well, we're going to move to California. That means we both give up our jobs. We uproot the family, we move, so it's that sort of, that's a rebirth type of situation. Knight of Wands, wow, interesting clarification. Knight of Wands is the, the other clarifier for the Four of Wands. And so what we're seeing is that you're, you're going to move forward rapidly. So it does look like if you are bidding on a house, if you're in a bidding war, you probably could win that war quote-unquote war. It's not really, but it kind of feels like it. Okay, the Nine of Swords is clarifying the uh, Eight of Swords. So you feel remorse and regret about something that was said. Okay, somebody said to you, you said to them, please, Spirit, give us information about this. For Cancer, three, okay, three of cups. So a friend of yours might have said something that hurt your feeling. They might have spoken the truth. I... I feel as though 
there's been some sort of minor argument. The good news is, is that I do think that it gets resolved fairly easily. Nine of Wands is clarifying the Three of Wands. You have fire in your belly for an outcome that will come to pass. The Emperor energy is all about doing it the right way. Ten of Wands, it looks like you've completed a cycle in terms of strategy. The Emperor is a lot of times in the Light Seer's Tarot. Yeah, all the time in the Light Seer's Tarot. Uh, the Emperor's holding a big chess piece, so that's making all the right moves. Your fear is that the burden will be too heavy. Um, the Eight of Swords and the... Okay, so now we have something big here going on. So what is this energy of the Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords, twice now? Nine of Cups, it resolves itself. The Lover's card, okay. One more card here. And the Justice card, okay. So you are dealing with some sort of legal situation. For some of you, you're going to literally end a relationship with the death card over here. You may have fallen in love with a friend. It looks like it's an, it's complicated. But it does look as though it makes you very happy. The lover's card here is a choice. The nine of cups is eat, drink, and be merry. And the justice card is you have reason to celebrate. Wow. Big reason to celebrate this month. But it does look like for some of you, there's a very, their timing is very important in either a business deal or a marital relationship or the sale of a home, something along those lines. Okay, so it'll be different for different people. Why is the strength card here? The two of wands, more decisions to make. The five of coins is clarifying. Let's see, the five of wands. Okay. Well, somebody's being left in the cold. Somebody's being left in the cold for putting you into a competitive situation. Now, for some of you that if you're talking about a house, you have to be careful because sometimes the appraisal wouldn't come back um, and you might have to pony up more money for it. Does it look like that would be a good choice? It says the chariot reversed. So you might not decide you might decide not to do that if it's too much. So again, I see some of you are ending a relationship with somebody who puts you in a competitive situation. And for some of you, it's going to be all the above. Four of Wands, happy home, happy life, wonderful. Ace of Cups, new love or the rebirth of an old love. So, Cancer, what? You are hitting it out of the ballpark this month. I'm very excited for you. Let's see. Let's see here what the Sacred Destiny Oracle has for you, Cancer. In fact, I'll give it that shot. That'll be better. Okay. So let's see. Let's see what the Sacred Destiny Oracle has. What an action-packed birthday month for you, Cancer. Uh, blessings, beautiful energy. Your Oracle energy has been exquisite. Openness. Stay open, Cancer. Keep that heart open. Don't close yourself off. Your time is coming if it isn't even in this moment, but it's here. Potential. All right. Sending you love, Cancer. I hope you found it helpful. Thank you.